there's all this zero po bullying policy nowadays. Why is it the victims? Why is it the kids that are being bullied that are having to be protected over and be? Why isn't it the bullies that are being taken away from the situation? And Oliver Mother is hoping to see changes made on how schools handle bullying after her son was attacked by two students at the South Okanagan Secondary School. I just kind of feel like it's trying to be swept under, just like, oh, the stuff happens at school. Well, no, not like this, not to this level, um, not with this much aggression behind it, not with this much, you know, a, a level of assault, with this level of assault behind it to, to have the, the impact and the injuries that my kid had. Moen explained that her 16-year-old son, Joseph Decker, was in a verbal confrontation with two male students. When the conversation got heated, the two allegedly shoved him into the side of a car and proceeded to punch his face before a friend intervened. It was worse than what I expected. He told me they knocked a tooth out, like when he was talking to me on the phone. Wow, they hit him really hard. Like, they hit him really, really hard. Like... And, and there had to have been a fist inside his mouth at one point. That was actually one of the first things that crossed my mind. The tooth was so far back that there had to have been like a human hand inside his mouth for a brief point in time to shove it that far back. And that was, whew, for me, that's, that's aggressive very aggressive. Moen said that the two students and her son were all suspended and have since returned to school. Anyway, the school had planned to put him directly back into classes with these two boys. <laughs> I went, no, that's, that's not happening. Um, he doesn't feel safe in a class with these two boys, especially, especially in a shop or metalworks class, which was the two classes he had with them. I still feel like, you know, like these kids are back in school, back like nothing. And my son is still leery to walk downtown. He's still nervous to be around at lunchtime. I pick him up and drop him off when he's got to be at school and when he's done because he doesn't want to hang around there. The frustration for Moen comes from the lack of communication with the school and conversation on how the incident is being handled. I'd like to see a little more follow through, not only from my school, but from a lot of schools. Um, elementary schools deal with it as well. A way that we can remove the bullies from the equation and still provide them with an adequate education, rehabilitation, therapies, counseling to help them get over what sort of anger is causing this. Castanet contacted school administrators for comment but did not receive a reply. The district superintendent said that it's a police investigation and the school is in touch and working with RCMP. We're hoping that between the RCMP and Crown Council that proper and appropriate charges will be laid um, and the boys will be held accountable at least that way, but that's also a time process. And for now, these kids are at school to maybe or maybe not do this again to some other kid at some other point if they don't agree with their opinion. For Castanet News in Oliver, I'm Casey Richardson.